Hello, been a while, I'm sorry. All I've been thinking about is like making videos and creating content and like all the different ideas that I have, which is strange because usually when I make videos, I have no idea whatsoever of what I want to make next and I start freaking out, but I have lists and lists of ideas of things that I want to do. Just no time, no time at all. <laughs> and every time that I do have time, I'm like, I really need my brain to just not do anything right now. And so that's how I started watching Fuller House, but that's completely, completely besides the point. And that wasn't a dig on Fuller House either, it's just like, it's not deep content. It's still fun content, but not at all deep content. Moving on, I've been reading The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, and by reading I mean I read this amount in two days and then I still have this amount to get through, and I haven't touched it in about a week, but I've been thinking about it because it's really wonderful. It's such a good contemporary. The main character is talking a lot about memories because his older brother went missing and most of this time he's really just like going back and forth and the back part is trying to remember different things about his brother and different memories that he's had with his brother. He doesn't really remember a very solid first memory but they're just little fragments of memories that he can think of. That was really interesting to me because my brain works the same exact way. I was trying to think like, what is my first memory? And I don't have one that I specifically stick to that I tell people. I was talking to my boyfriend and he actually has a specific first memory that he remembers completely. And I do not. And that got me thinking of just like, how far can I possibly think back? I moved into the current house that we live in when I was six years old. So thinking back even further, I was like, well, do I remember the house that we lived in before we built our new house because we built our new house like straight from another house so I was thinking about that other house and I was like do I remember living in there because we lived there for about a year and I do there was a little bar area in the back of the house and we would play around with like that bar area and you know just pretend that we were in that bar serving drinks not alcoholic drinks I was very little but that's something that I remember and I also remember my mom's treadmill was in that same room and I would never turn it on obviously because that's dangerous but I would like try moving on the treadmill while it was off and those are like the two basic things that I can remember and then moving back further do I remember my actual childhood home the one that I lived in from five years old and below and that's hard I remember specific things that we did like I remember my sister loves playing pet store and I would play pet store with her and we had a little um, play cash register and we would set her all of her stuffed animals on the outline perimeter of the room and then we would just play but I don't remember living in the same room with her and I know that I did but I don't remember that do I remember preschool I remember this one lesson that we had where a fireman came in and he taught us about fire safety and I don't remember much after that I remember being at a pizza place that was right next door where we always used to go to. There was this one pizza store right like next to the preschool. And when my mom and dad came, like both my mom and my dad, not just my mom, we would go to that pizza place for lunch and it was like my favorite place to go. And since it was right next door, a bunch of other preschoolers would go as well. And I have this one memory where, I mean, they would always flip the pizzas in front of you. So like we would always watch that. I have this one memory where a bunch of the other preschoolers went there and they sat at a specific table and me and my mom and dad were at another table and my mom and my dad were like, hey, go over to the other table with the other kids, you know, go have fun. And I was like, nope, I'm going to stay with you guys. Like, I came here with you guys. I want to be with you guys. And then eventually I went over with my friends, but like, that's a specific memory that I have as well. And I can't remember farther than that. I can't remember farther than preschool. If you can, please let me know because memories right now are incredibly interesting to me and this book really inspired that and I want to know what your first memory is, if you can remember a first memory or if you just have little fragments. It's been really interesting just like going back and trying to figure out what my very very first memory is and the fact that they are literally just fragments every single time I don't have a single stretch of a memory. It's weird. It's all very weird. but. If you guys do have a first memory, please let me know what it was. And I hope you guys have been having a good past few weeks because I haven't seen you. And I hope you continue to have a good one. And I will see you soon. Bye.